Okay, guys, uh, I'm here with another example again on a, uh, on a uh, simple frameworks. No? So, here on simple frameworks, we are going to solve uh, this simple uh, framework. Going to calculate the members of uh, this uh, simple framework. So, uh, if you have to calculate the simple framework, first of all, we have to calculate the uh, the supports uh, the support on R1 and R2. So to calculate the support, we're going to use the law of moment uh, and clockwise moment equals to anti-clockwise moment. So we're going to say the sum of uh, clockwise moment equals to the sum of anti-clockwise moment. Okay. So um, then uh, let's say at R at R1, let's take moment at R1. So if we're going to take moment at R1, which is this R1, going to look at uh, clockwise moment. So we have uh, 400, 400, 400, and 200 that are clockwise. So we're going to say the, uh, at R1, 400, multiply by its distance to R1, which is 3. Yeah. So 3 plus uh, this 400, 400 multiply by its distance to R1 is going to be, the here is 2 plus 4, so it's going to be 6, sorry, 6 plus, um, here yeah, is going to be, uh, 1 plus 4 plus 4 is going to be 9, which is, uh, okay, 400 multiplied by 9, yes, by 9, uh, plus 200 here, yeah, which is going to be 200 multiplied by the whole distance, of which is a 12, uh, plus, um, uh, we are having uh, this uh, force of uh, 400 newton. So again, this for, uh, sorry, 500 newton. This 500 newton is still going to uh, clockwise direction. So going to add this uh, 500 multiplied by its distance is going to be four. And then it will be equals to, it's going to be equals to R, R2 multiplied by 12. So then we get uh, the total here. That means R2 is going to be equal to 966.66. Okay, so this is R2 Newton. And then on R1, I'm going to take moment at R2 now to find the value of R1. So when taking moment at uh, at R2, at R2, then uh, if we are here at R2, this one is uh, clockwise, this is anti-clockwise, 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 and then uh, this one is clockwise also. So uh, if we are at R2, we're going to say our moment will be, uh, at R2, going to have a uh, clockwise moment is going to be, R1 multiplied by 12 will be equals to, and then uh, here this is anti-clockwise, let's say 400 multiplied by 3 plus uh, 400 multiplied by uh, 6 plus 400, yeah, 400 multiplied by 9 plus 200 multiplied by 12 and then uh, we are having this force again uh, this 500 newton to r2 is going to be a 4 plus 4 is going to be 8 plus 500 multiplied by multiplied by 80 so uh, the final answer we're going to have a uh, final answer on R1. That means R1 it will be equals to 
R1 will be equals to 1,133.333. Then it will give us, okay, it's in a Newton. Okay, this is R1. So, and then uh, to f uh, to balance our forces, let's say, uh, to to make sure that our our forces are are correct. Therefore, we have to balance the upwards forces and uh, the downwards forces. So, if we say the upwards forces, which are there, our is our reaction, which is R one plus R two, should be equals to our downwards reaction, our downwards reaction, so our downwards forces is going to be um, 200 plus 400 plus 400 plus 400 plus 200 or plus 500, yes. So and therefore it should give us 2,100. And even this side, it should be 2,100. Yes, two is 2,100, yes. So this is our reaction. So now that we have uh, completed all the, the, the reaction here, therefore now we should complete our, now we should complete the forces or the members of the forces of this framework. So if we have to calculate the members, uh, let's write here our force R2 is 966.66 and then here R1 is uh, 1133.33. Okay. So if we have to calculate the members of uh, the forces, therefore we have to label our of a four hour diagram here. Let's start this side. Let's say this one is A. Here we are having B, C, D, E, F, uh, G, uh, F, G, and then here say H. Okay. So make sure that uh, uh, in between of a force uh, there is a letter. So here we having two force which is a uh, 200 and R1. So it should be having a letter. And then here uh, in, in between two forces there should be a, um, a letter. So here is uh, uh, B, N, C, D, E, F, G, H. Inside we should having I. I, after I, we are having what? J, J, K, L, M, yeah. So, then now we can uh, do our, re, our, our vector diagram. We're going to use a scale of, uh, going to use a scale of one centimeter equals to uh, 200 newton. So if I have one centimeter, it's cost to 200 Newton. Now let's start from A, right? So if it's going to start at A, let's say this point is A. Let me write it there, um, with A. So from A to B, from A to B, we are having a force of a 200, uh, 200 newton so if you are having a force of 200 newton going downwards we are going to uh, make a force here of 200 newton so according to my scale is going to be one centimeter because I said one centimeter is equal to 200 newton so this one is going to be b yeah i'm going to have number b um, and then from B to C, I'm having 400 uh, going downwards, and then I'm going to place 400 here. 400 is going to be 2 centimeters. Let me just write straight line, and then I'm going to measure 2 centimeters, which is C. Okay, so then from C to D is another 400 centimeters 
of zero for hundred newton, which is going to be two centimeter, and then which, uh, this one is going to be d, and then from d to e is another four hundred again, which is going to be two two newton two centimeters. So this one is going to be e. Let's say this one is in. And then uh, from E to F, we are having 200 Newton. So there we are having 200 Newton, which is going to be one centimeter. 200 Newton, which is uh, this one is going to be F. Okay. So uh, then uh, from F, from F to G, we are having this. Uh, force of uh, 910 and uh, 96 uh, so 966 point six six divided by 200 is going to be 4.8 so we're going to have a force going upwards which is going to be 4.8 yeah. 4.8 4 and then and this is 8 so 4.85 Okay, so 4.8 is here. So this one is going to be G. And then from G to uh, H, we are having 500 going downwards. So 500 divided by two, 200 is going to give us uh, 2.5. So from here, we are having G which is 2.5 this is 2.5 so it's going to be H yeah. so from uh, H from G to H then from H we are going back to A yeah? so from A is uh, 1,133 1, 1, 1, 0.33 divided by 200 is it will give us 5.666 so that means from h we're going to measure 5.666 uh, let's say it's 5.7 so it should this distance should be ex, uh, should be okay this distance should give us 5.662 a right okay so now that we are done with our uh, vertical uh, forces or our okay our vertical forces then now we have to go to inside uh, the members so these are the force or the reaction in uh, this diagram so if you can say if we can recap uh, a little bit here yeah okay Okay, if you can recap here, we said we are using a scale of 1 centimeter squared to 2, 200 newton. So that means uh, if I'm starting from A, then from A to B, I'm having a force of 200 going downwards. So I'm having this 200, which is going to be 1 centimeter. And then from B to C, I'm having 400 going downwards. That means this is 400 is going to be uh, two, centi two centimeters and then from uh, C to D having a force again or going downwards which is C to D is 400 Newton 400 Newton is going to be uh, two centimeters and then from uh, from D to E I'm having uh, this force of 200 of 400 again and then uh, from uh, C to F now from C to F I'm having a force of two uh, 200 newton which is going to be one centimeters then from F to G I'm having a force of which is my reaction uh, R2 going upwards which is 966.6 this will be my force of 966 uh, from F going back up as to G and then from G to uh, H we are having a force of 500 Newton 
So from 500 newton is going downwards. So from G to H, we having 500 newton, which is this one. So going to measure 500 is going to be 2.5 centimeters to this point. And then from H going to A with 1,110 territory. 0.33 uh, newton so from this point going back to a so this is your um, a vertical force now so then we are going to start uh, calculating our members so we can start here at uh, h remember we said on the previous uh, video we said uh, if we are doing a simple framework we are going clockwise always so we are if even it doesn't matter where you you start but uh, in that point we have to go uh, clockwise so then now let's start from H going inside our member here so if we're at H to I ne? this is our H ne? so from H to I we are having a straight line here that a separate H with I. So we are going to just draw a straight line from H. All right. So we can just draw the straight line from H. Okay. Yeah, I hope it's visible enough there. So uh, if it is uh, a straight line that separate H and I, we're going to draw the straight line and then if we check on i to b having a, a force of a 30 uh, sorry an angle of 30 degrees that separate um, b and i right so that means uh, b and i will meet at a uh, i and h in this point so we are going to uh, draw a 30 degree line from I right so from B so so if we're going to draw a, a, a 30 degree line from B by this 30 degree we should measure this 30 degree from this point so this side we should uh, do an alternative angle so that means yeah it uh, so we should form something like uh, this so if uh, this is B and then this is h so where they will meet b and h the angle here should be exactly this angle which is 30 degrees so when you are measuring your 30 degrees in this point you're going to measure this 30 degrees from this side so that it will be 30 degrees this side you don't measure 30 degrees starting from this one so okay let's measure 30 degree with our protractor then from this point we're going to measure 30 degrees so we are having this is 30 degrees here and then we're having the 30 degrees okay this is 30 degrees okay so then we're going to draw a straight line combining up until it intercept with H no? so if it intercept with H that means uh, this point here is going to be our point I let's write in small letters so this uh, 2I is a straight line this is a straight line then H to P is a 30 degrees line so this is 30 degrees to P right okay then uh, now we are going to a uh, to j so from uh, h to from i so from i to j we, i and j are separated by a 60 degree line here so if the here we are having 60 degree that means from this point we should um, measure a 60 degree line going upwards so let's just draw this 60 degree from this point so this side okay is 60 m yes okay so then uh, are we just going to draw this line here 
okay so this is uh, the line that separate i and j which is 60 degrees which is the 60 degrees and then if you check j at uh, c from j to c is separated by a line of 30 degrees from c which away c this is our c right so c separate uh, j with 30 degrees so that means from c we are going to measure 30 degrees here then this one is going to be 30 degrees okay then 30 degrees to c then we're going to draw a straight line so, so um, if you check the line doesn't uh, if you check these two lines are uh, not meeting that means you have to extend your line of 60 degrees from i to uh, to c so this point is going to be j so therefore we are having j this side okay let me just write it in bold here. so this is j from c okay then uh, we are moving again from um, moving forward again from j now from j to k so if you check from j to k uh, uh, separated with a 60 degree line here and then if it's separated with a 60 degree line and means from this point we should draw a 60 degree line to uh, j so if we are going to draw a 60 degree line oh okay before we draw that 60 degree line we can check from k that is separated by a straight line from g so then you can start by drawing the straight line from g here yeah. the straight line from g okay and then having a straight line from g then now we can uh, measure our 30 uh, 60 degrees from j 60 degrees from j this is 60. so then you just intercept the two lines from from j like this okay so that means uh, where these two lines meet we are having k so that means uh, this point is k so um, if we check from uh, j to k is uh, separated by a dead, uh, 60 degree line so that means you're going to measure a 60 degree line here from j to k and then from k to g you are having a straight line and draw that straight line from g and then we're moving forward to to l right so if we are at a k to l we are separated by 60 degrees again from k to l so this is the 60 degrees so you can just uh, measure the 60 degrees from uh, k Okay, from K, from K we are having 60 degrees. Okay, so then we are measuring this line from K, uh, which is 60 degrees. This 60 degrees. Just draw the 60 uh, the line the way it has uh, been drawn here. So if it's going to this direction, you just draw in that direction you measure the line in that direction then we can just draw this one straight which is the 60 degrees line okay so to k to to l so from k to l is 60 degrees and then from l to d is separated by 30 degrees that means we are going to measure 30 degree line from d yeah this is our D, and then from D, we place uh, the compass, uh, the protractor, sorry, the protractor like this, to L, which is 
30 degrees here. Then you're going to draw your 30 degrees line. Uh, damn it. Ah, uh, sorry, that mistake. This is L. Uh, we are, it is E. We are at D. D, sorry. D. Now let's remove this one. At D. Damn it. Okay, at D. This uh, L is uh, at D. That means from D you go going to measure this 30 degrees. Yeah, this 30 degrees from D. Yeah, that's correct. This one is D. So then it's D to L. Okay. Okay. So this one is going to be our uh, L. So this side is going to be L. So let's just draw those members in in bold line this and then this yes okay so uh, then uh, now from l to m from l to m is separated by 60 degrees then uh, it's going to this direction that means have to draw a 60 degree line this direction and l is in line with a uh, uh, G, with G, that means L is a uh, will uh, M will be falling in this side, uh, so in G. So therefore, we're going to uh, measure our L here. It's going to be 60 degrees. Uh, 60 degrees or 60. This is 60. Okay, and then we have 60 there. Therefore, we're going to just draw this point to this side. So, this is going to be uh, M. So, here we are having M. So, M is um, separated by 60 from uh, L. So, we're going to measure this 60 degrees here to L. And M is in line with uh, J. G is or from G, and then you can say this one is G. Yes, G here, yeah. and then again, uh, M is in line with uh, separated by 30 degrees to E. Therefore, you can just draw a straight line combining these two E and G, uh, E and M. E and M, so this is E and M. So, therefore, you are having your vector, your, your vector diagram like this. Then, now you are having all the members here. So, if you are having uh, this member, now you can uh, calculate the member. We can start by, we can start by uh, this member from H to I h to i then we measure h to i where is h uh, this is i where is h this is j this is i this is h so so that means there should be a straight line here yeah. uh, the straight line is there but i didn't draw in bold this is the straight line okay so then is to find the member of h and i we're going to measure which is going to be eight centimeters so if it's eight centimeters remember we said our scale is uh, one centimeter uh, equals to 200 newton so that means if i if h to i is equals to eight centimeters that means we're going to multiply by 200 to get uh, the a force in in um in a newton so it's going to be eight multiplied by 200 we going to get 1600 newton so that means uh, um the i h to i or i h is 60 uh, and then 
is 1600 so so then we can say from uh, the member here i to p so p i can say this is p this uh, okay this is i this is p then we're going to measure the whole distance here which is going to be 9.4 so if it's 9.4 centimeter we're going to multiply 9.4 uh, 9.4 centimeters multiplied by 200 it give us 1000 uh, 100 okay 1880 so that means pi is equals to 1880 newton then we get our uh, our um, our p and the uh, pi then you're going to do the very same process throughout uh, all the members the m p j uh, j c j k uh, j k g uh, k l throughout all the members just measure the distance and then multiply by your scale and then you have this uh then um, so let's do this last one uh from l to m which is two centimeter uh, two centimeters so if it's two centimeters l uh, lm then means uh if it's two centimeters it's going to be 400 newton so that's your uh members uh, thank you for watching guys remember that you can download all our question papers and um and study guide at help needed studies help needed studies dot com so if you visit this uh, website you will get every information about needed studies uh, uh previous question papers you will get a uh, um, question and solution you will get uh, uh, you will get you will get even study guide and uh, they on our help needed studies uh, and then if you have more inf uh, if you have um, more question you can go to our facebook page our facebook page at uh, help needed studies our facebook page at help needed studies then you can find us at the uh, you can find me there and then you can ask any question so uh, remember uh, to like and share this video and also support me guys by subscribing to the channel thank you